<sighs> Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. Welcome to episode four, I do believe, of Bloodborne, But I'm Bad. I'm currently covered in crimson pudding after dying to the wolves on the bridge at least four times. I have farmed some blood vials. And that's where the other deaths come from. I've already got six deaths before I even started recording this episode uh, because I keep track of all the deaths when I play offline so that I, you know, I was farming blood vials. I think we're up to like... Hello, my blood vials? Hello, my blood vials? Okay. Apparently I have zero. It doesn't show you the ones you have. I guess you have to be at your storage. I think I have like 30 or 40 more in storage. Anyway, we're going down here. There's a... Br I don't have to actually go on top of this section, right? Okay, gotta, gotta get a better weapon, I think. At least potentially a better weapon. I was told this axe isn't that bad, but uh, this axe is not good. Wait, oh, there's a descend ladder and a... Wait, hold, how do I... Oh, there we go. Is this just to get back up? This is a different side of the thingy. What? What's the point of... Oh, can you break these? Oh, I thought those were solid. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this is the way to the sewers. And... There's two ways to get to the sewers. I don't know which way is the way to get to... Oh, hello. <laughs> How's that crimson pudding? So slimy looking. Hmm. Yeah, what you doing, bud? Okay, we're going down. Oh, gosh. Because there is this area here and there was the other area that I found. Almost by accident, though, so... So loud that the way they... that the weapon falls on the ground. See, because those are... those are solid. Some of the... Um, are these not? Yeah. Now, the question is, I don't know if this connects to the other side as well or if it does not hello green management wrong button he swung over my head all right because i didn't actually go down down into the rats from the other side so i don't know if this connects to where i was before or if this is a different section I think this is a different section. Because the other section had like wooden slats above that you could drop down onto. And this section seems to not have that. Alright. See ya. He didn't actually get blasted by the fall damage, so whatever. Okie dokie. I'm so wet. But I'm assuming... I should drop down. Well, I don't know about that guy with the rat. That doesn't seem great. I don't have any Molotovs or anything, do I? Nope. No Molotovs. All right. Uh, here? Who are our hitboxes anyway? Well, that's just thick cold blood, huh? Hey, get him away from the rat. That rat's going crazy. What's up with that rat, dude? That rat's crazy. Some of that rat's eyes. Ugh. Hello. Yeah, it's great and all, but have you had or heard of that? 
Wrong button. You were an angrier man. No, you had loot. And there's more loot down there, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, see, this looks like an open-end part of the sewers, so it's not the other area that I also found, which... Oh, drip? I mean, it's just, like, all over better except for poison resist? Okay. So I guess you do still wear... You do just wear armor, right? Wow. That's like insanely more tanky stats. What the heck? Yeah. Wow. My physical defense is up so much. Oh, it's the armor from the freaking... Yeah. It's the armor around the box art. Sick. My weird green eye sticking out of there. So, is this the way down? Or is there... There's obviously more over here. But there's no different roll in this game. It's still the same roll, right? Yeah, there's no medium or fat roll or whatever. Alright, let's not aggro seven rats. I was seeing if they acted like dogs and got stunned by bullet. Not really. Oops, that's the wrong button. A singular throwing knife? Just the one? Oh, really? I'm off by like one damage on that overhead heavy. All right, well. Singular throwing knives. Oh, I got that other one. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Oops. My HP. So, yeah, that was a, this, this is a different section than what I thought I was going down to. I thought the section that I was at was the multiple drop downs. This is uh, not that section. Fair enough. There's just a bunch of rats. I guess you could farm the rats for throwing knives. I don't know what there's no. I was told there is no illusory walls in this game, so not to like look around and smash walls. There's none of that nonsense in this game, so. So do I drop down in a corner? The question is, are all those corpses actually corpses, or are they going to stand up and want hugs? Because I'm aware of corpses that want hugs in FromSoft games. There are many that want hugs in FromSoft games. They are very hug-deprived. Like all of us. <laughs> Sorry. Too real? It's a Sunday evening bonus stream. Getting a little too real. All right, how many of you are going to wake up? Oh. I told you. I freaking told you. It's not my first FromSoft game. Told you. Yep. They are almost worthless to worry about, though, I guess. Enemy-wise. And they get chopped up. Oh, okay. You are already actually deceased. See, I wonder... It might connect all the way around. Check the corners. See, that looks like an illusory wall to me. Even that the light bounced off it differently, but there are none. 
We can go up here, or we can keep going down this way. There are birds. Hello, gentlemen. They are very tanky. That could be because slashing damage seems to be pretty blah. Yep, birds. Hello, bird. Bird? Alright. Bird? You can't interrupt me that fast, bird. Well, they just fly backwards. They don't actually, like, get staggered or nothing. Mm. Mm, more wet, gooey boys. I am so slick and wet. <laughs> we gotta go down before we can go up, right? We have to earn the right to go up. That's also a tenant of these games. There's more goo men. Hello, goo men. Oops. Sorry, goo men. I had to reload my stamina. Reloading my stamina. Thank you. I have the item. Perfect. Whoa, the reach on that boy. That is large rat. Very large rat. I know who you are. You tricky dick, you. Hmm. Oh, we gotta go die to the large rat now? Is that what's going on? We gotta deal with these birds first. Hello, bird. A lot of these birds don't sound like birds. I thought birds were fake as well. Is that a rat or a pig? A pig rat? A rat pig? Hello, big rat? That's a pig. You cannot tell me. That is a boar. Oh, really? That is a large, large pig. Large pig. care about my bullets. Oh, it does care about my bullets. Well, that was hideous. And so incredibly loud. My goodness gracious. I've turned down the game before I hit record like four times. We're probably down to like 50% volume and the game is still just crushing it. And you can't even change. We can go like one on sound effects, maybe. Even an R4, how you doing, man? How's your weekend? This is a, the Saw Hunter badge. And what does that do, I wonder? I have no idea. Badge of a workshop sanctioned hunter. Okay. I just don't know what they do. I guess they unlock things you can purchase. The workshop is gone and no group recognizes this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath. Yep. So the different badges I'm understanding. Badges are like bell bearings from Elden Ring. Bell bearings unlock shops that have items in them. Badges unlock you to buy stuff, correct? Okay. They unlock the ability to just buy crap. Yeah, okay. Well, this looks like death. 
Or not. I don't know how the fall distance is in this game. Like how far you can fall without getting completely plastered. And cratering, as it were. There's an up. There's an up inside here. Maybe we've earned the right to go up here, I guess. So now that badge will allow me to buy a different weapon. Does that give you the saw spear? For chance? You have to just buy them. Which is also a weird way to traverse in this game that you you have to there's, unless there's a homeward bone eventually, there is no way to travel back to the hunter's dream unless you yeet all of your souls or walk all the way back to a lantern. Oh yeah, see here was the another body up above. There's, oh, larger bird? Maybe not. Maybe same size bird. Sometimes weapons, sometimes consumables. The spear is on the ground somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on a body you have to cut down that's hanging over what I thought was the sewers. Oh, this is a shortcut? I think there's a shortcut. Me too, bud. Me too. Oh, I think this is a shortcut. Are those the two big trolls? Or oh, that's not a big troll. That's a different guy. So not a shortcut, not exactly. The madman's knowledge that gives insight. That's like humanity, basically. I mean, that could be a shortcut. That gate right there is probably the shortcut. So I got to not die to this guy. Which is just a regular troll? I think it's just a regular troll, buddy. What's up, dude? He has large stone wood club thing, though. Absolutely bodied. Thanks for the blood vials. We'll go unlock the shortcut first. You saw that the Palia MMO is now playable on the Epic Store. It is! I do believe they are done with their uh, early beta testing access. Flubbity flabbity. It should just be full on just play the game now, I do believe. This is not a shortcut. It is a shortcut. <laughs> You don't actually open gates and doors in this game. You pull levers. This is the shortcut from the very first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's by the, the two troll boy. No. Oh, the dog area. Oh, okay. So we're not. It's kind of a shortcut. But also kind of not really one at all. So this way goes down to the drop down area. So, okay, that's helpful, but also kind of not really. It's more helpful than not. Well, I can fight through this crap real quick and then go to the, the bridge, I guess. Dog gets stuck there all the time. Yeah, but I know. It's terrible. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm definitely taking way less damage, which is amazing. Oh, you followed me apparently? What's up, dude? Big one shot on you. Well, wow. I have some blood vials, please. Thank you. He's beginning to believe. It's still listed as in beta, but now it's open. Oh, okay. 
Well, if it's listed as in beta, but at least open to play, then it's at least more playable. Right? Like it's just, you can just play it now. Because before it was the whole like beta acceptance stuff. I still don't want to, man. I guess I got to fight back through all this stuff. I mean, I fought through it once. I think I'll just skip it or try to skip it. You can kind of sprint forever in this game, but I want to go back and see if we can get a different weapon now. We also have 5,000 souls, blood echoes, blood souls, soul echoes. The crow feather garb. Hey, that's an Elden ring. The doll is not there. Does she like randomly roam around? Is she in the workshop? She may be in the workshop. But also, we gotta talk to those dudes. Oh, good lord, she's right there. Holy crap, you kinda scared me. Look, my new drip. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you did? Ah. Oh, no new dialogue. Okay. Can we use this yet? No. Yes, how many blood vials have I got? Oh, yeah, I have 44 more blood vials in my, my storage. That's what I farmed yesterday. So we're, we're pretty good on blood vials for a little bit. All right, we got to talk to these little dinguses. Hey, buds. What do we got? Saw cleaver, saw spear. Yeah, so it gives you the three starting weapons and the saw spear. The Kirk hammer was from something else. So I was told saw spear is bee's knees. Although it looks like it's more of a skill weapon, not a strength weapon. They're both descaling. So I guess I won't know what their scaling changes to. But I was told to try this out as it is quite good. You could also just buy the saw cleaver too, but... Oh yeah, there's the blunderbuss. What's the difference with the pistol? Quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for a speedier response. Because right now we're... Uh, we're just the default one. No, are we pistol? We're already pistol, right? Yeah, we're already on the pistol. So, uh, saw spear. It's a little bit weaker in its overall compared to the heavy weapon for the hunter's axe, but it also is serrated, which does like 15 to 25% bonus. It's like 20 to 25% bonus. I looked on the wiki. It's like a, a passive thing behind damage types in this game. So even if it does quote unquote less damage, if it anything takes more from it's going to be way closer range for R1s like that's basically in my face. And then oh, it is more like a sword. Heavy is just a thrust. What's the switch? Just cleaving attacks. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, it can actually... Yeah, when you're actually in the motion. Okay. Give that a shot. I'll have to get used to the range change, though. Should we give it like a maybe an upgrade or something? It's just the regular. I'm assuming the tier one little blood shard things are very easy to come by. Yeah. So no blood gem stuff that's done here, right at the memory altar. I don't know what those are yet.
takes three bloodstone shards, which I have, and these are the easiest ones. The Kirk hammer also good. Yeah, you were saying the Kirk hammer is pretty good. Let's how about I not, let's not upgrade anything yet until I get a better feel for weapons. How much did the Kirk hammer cost? Was it also a thousand? Three thousand for the Kirk hammer. Good Lord. It's blunt and thrust versus... It's weird how it doesn't actually say serrated. It just says blunt thrust. Yeah, we'll buy it as well. And get like a level. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. And I don't know more HP. Oh, we're a little shy. We're already at twenty three hundred for leveling up. Never mind. Oh, whatever. I mean, we could chew through some cold blood dew, but I think I'll just wait. So now, actually, if I go... Does it really matter? Does it, it doesn't matter too much. The, the, this first area, it feels like I'm here just so much all of a sudden. There's just way, way too much in this first area for me, just learning the game. All right. So I don't have any crazy sweeping attacks anymore. Are oh, you not gonna aggro? It is way faster than the axe, obviously. The range on that is pretty nuts though. Way quicker. Okay, okay. Look, like it's tough to really get a feel for weapons because they still I'm on base damage. Yeah. But that. If I drop down here now, because if that section of sewer wasn't the sewer that I was really thinking it was, this just goes back. Hey, bud. I want to, I need to go to that other, the other drop down. See, this just loses the loop. Getting reacclimated because now there's a new door and everything in Yarnum looks the freaking same. Because I thought that gate was over here with these two trolley boys and it was not. It was not over here with these two trolley boys. Ogres, whatever. It's not over here. So I have to re-figure out my heading. Yeah, see? This has the up. We want to go... Yeah. This is still locked, right? Yep. I thought that would come up from the sewer, but... Yep. 
Dogs. This is the dog area. So is this the other side that is where I'm thinking it is? Yeah, this was the other direction. This was the lady that wants to find a safe place, which I don't have a place for her yet. Hey. How you doing? How much da- what, what scales your visceral damage anyway? Yeah, see, here's the drop-down stuff I was talking about earlier. It's this side. But it goes to the sewer-ish area, but I guess that's not connected. That area is not connected. Oops. Bat fingered the uh, weapon swap instead. Yeah, you can see all the rats and stuff. So are, is this connected to the other side? We're, we're exploring. And then there was this ladder, which is what I thought I was walking up. Yeah, see? This is a different section. Yep. But it's not a different section. That's where I was over there. So that ladder, the second ladder that went up goes here because I looked up on those crows. That's the long bridge. I, wow. Okay, goodness. I'm, 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 I'm piecing it together. Hey, bud. Oh, wow. There's a guy blasting me. Why are you blasting me? Serpentine. Oh, there's two of you. I hate that. The, there's no forward dodge. That's going to get me killed. I know it. There's no forward running dodge. All right. Just some, some dew. So this is a different side. I have to drop down there to get that item, which I thought, is that not the... Also, the spear that I buy it didn't need to. Is there a, there's not a combo with the spear. It's just one thrust, huh? You gotta be mad. They're like, bah, 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 bah. yep. Yeah, that's the pit of all the, the dead body dudes. That was the up up. Okay. It is connected ever so slightly. But dropping down there drops on a lot of... Oh, yeah, okay. All right, whatever. Damn. Oh. All right. <laughs> so sitting here minding my own damn business exploring the freaking... And then the bard's like... Bah, 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 bah. Nope, just a bloodstone shard. But those are all zambles. There was another item down there that I saw. There's another item down here somewhere. Zambles? No, oh, no, well, dead birds. Not alive zambies. Yeah, all the way over here. Aha. Oops, bloodstone shard. But hey, until I can just buy them, we're, we're picking them up. 
so here was the what I was confused by with the boats. So it is connected. Was there anything besides just rats? The forbidden popcorn? Awkwardly loud in here. Other madman's knowledge. Very nice. So I was talking about it in Discord and trying to figure things out, but this is down the road for sure. But since we try to 100% these games, good evening, Teddy. Since we try to 100% these games, I haven't been told if there's any like harder ending to the game. So if I can get added in discord or told in chat right now like is there a harder ending to bloodborne that we can try that but the other optional also harder thing we're going to be doing is trying to get through the chalice dungeons and going and beating the challenge dungeon boss which has a trophy the only one that does it does take a very specific set, so I'm not going to fumble around with my balls in my hand. I'm going to just look up the guide and then be like, go here, then go here, then go here, then go here. I'm going to try to do that. Granted, it's going to get harder and harder because it goes down to a lot of the phase five chalice dungeons, but I'll be doing that end of the game. So it's after we beat the game. Oh, he got me. After we beat the game, that's our like end game thing we can do. Although, how does that work in this game? Can you beat the game and then just keep playing your character? And then you can choose and like you talk to something, the doll to do new game plus. I don't want to like beat the game and then all of a sudden I'm in new game plus because that kind of ruins the challenge, the, the chalice dungeon stuff. Or do I do all the chalice dungeon stuff and then do the last boss? That's what I'm trying to like, what do you, what do you do? These are things I don't know how this game works. Rat feet. Nightmare world is a nightmare to navigate? Is nightmare world, are you talking about a world that's in Bloodborne? Is the nightmare world a Bloodborne thing? What do we just drop down right here, I guess? If you beat? Oh, it's Fresh Kid without a sub. <gasps> if you beat the final boss, it auto puts you in a new game plus. Okay. So if I'm doing the Chalice Dungeon nonsense, it's get to the point where the final boss is left, then do all the Chalice Dungeon stuff, then do final boss. Okay. Still end game. I don't know when we'll be at that point. It'll definitely be a week, if not more, uh, before we get to that point. There's lots of bosses to go, but I would like to experience all of the things that the game has to offer. Geronimo. Okay. Rat. Oh, the charged heavy is way more of a a downward thrust. Charged heavy is a a downward thrust, whereas normal heavy. Oh no, the game has a bit of really. Oh, I feel like I didn't notice that with the with the axe. Bloodborne has some like character aiming, even with melee weapons. If your camera is angled down too far, you attack down. Mm. That still hits the ground though, so that that's not a big deal. This is just rats. So I was not meant to drop down here. Is there anything on that side? Rats. 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 Bloodborne is a nightmare world. Uh, 
I mean, it can eventually become one. I'm not really sure it's... Because it's what? There's three stages in this game. Or like three phases. That's why I'm naming these sections phases, not parts. Because of the moon stuff and all the Cthulhu crap. Dude, look at those hips on that boy. my gosh see that looks like it's too far of a drop though like that like that kills you i think okay so then where where are we where are we going oh, i missed my uh excuse me good Ow. We gotta talk to whoever's in this door. Because of the light on the floor. Who's in here? Hello? Knock, knock. Wretched outsider. Trying to fool me to open this door. No. Heaven's the depths of depravity. Okay. Wretched outside. Oh, all right. Oh, fair enough. Everyone in this world is so nice. I'm never not going to notice it now with this cloak. That boy's got hips for days. So that isn't a new way to go which is very curious. So what is the new way to go with unlocking this shortcut? There's no dismount noise when you get off a ladder. Kind of weird. Birds. 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 That's supposed to be a shortcut to go down here. So is there something else up top that I missed? But now actually, I don't know if you can even get back up top. Is there a ladder to get back over here? Yes, right here. You ever make your own theme music? You know you do. Don't even lie to me. You're in the bathroom, taking a shower, getting all cleaned up and stuff. You're you're. You think you might be humming a song? You're in there humming like Backstreet Boys, some shit, Sublime. Nah, you're humming your own theme music. What you're humming is not actually real. Um, so that's, we already went there and we dropped down and then we went over here and then we got this stuff, which is all well and good. We got a, maybe a better weapon for me. But I don't really see the way forward. And there's no other teleports unless there is supposed to be another was there another little messenger duder that woke up? Because I only saw the one. Maybe you're supposed to... I mean, I could have done all this stuff and then done Cleric Beast. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do? Is get all of this stuff cleaned out? Because you get the way better armor set for clearing all the stuff out. Because there is this huge upstairs, but I can't get up there. That's the body to chop down. So is there like a staircase somewhere that I'm missing to go up? That's the only thing I can see. But there's some way up. Yes. 
this is, in fact, not my first FromSoft game. Uh. <clears throat> Any crazy bats or something up here that jump on me and be like... Blah, 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 blah. There's two bodies up here, actually. Before I fall off. hi -ya! Oh, are they going to be on different sides? Oh, that's so cringe. Oh, come on. So I have to walk all the way over around one side, come all the way back up the other side. Really? Really? Because those don't connect. <laughs> all right. Well. Hello. It's like the rooftop in Lies of P. That first friend. You know what's fresh, kid? Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Hello. Bold hunter's mark. Four of them. Is that a homeward bone? Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. What the hell are you then? They're all flesh hungry beasts now. Hmm. My kind of humans. Still lingering about. I haven't moved. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. What? <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off cape. All right. What are you still... Enough trembling in your boots. Uh, oh. A hunter must hunt. A hunter must hunt. My fate. We can't change our fate. All right, thank you. Um, was that? Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. So are these Hummer bones? Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes. A trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Awakening is going back to the hunter's dream. Because you wake up in the hunter's dream. If I'm... If I'm reading that right. Or it's a consumable that allows... It's like a ring of sacrifice? Because Hunter's Mark is the, the homeward bone that you just eat everything. So, I, th I think that's what that is. I still feel like the menu sound is broken. Although, if you haven't noticed yet, and I, this may jinx it, I don't know, maybe, hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, it's been almost an hour, and the audio is good to go. I do believe I hopefully have fixed the audio issue. So there's an NPC invader up here. Well, I'm playing in offline mode. I don't know if that would affect anything. Would playing in offline mode affect being invaded? All right, well, we're going to jump down, get one item, run all the way up and around, go up the ladder, go back around and down, then go all the way back around to get the other item. <sighs> That's fun. How much does this hurt? Oh, no. Well, I already killed the rats on that side, so... What I done are you? Ew. Two bloodstone shards. Okay, now we gotta go back out. Ew. Go up the ladder. Go this way. Bump <laughs> 
Dude, those hips, though. My DualSense wireless controller has disconnected. Charge the battery. What? It is charged, though, my dude. It was literally plugged in and fully charged. Hold on. I may have to switch controllers. Um. 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 Okay, well. <laughs> to use your DualSense wireless controller, you'll need to update its device software to the latest version. <laughs> Through the magic of live editing. One moment, I guess. Okay. Uh, after all of that, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, we got dropped on this side, but I didn't kill the rats down here yet. Ah! Ah! I was trying to turn off my microphone on my controller. Also, did the volume just suddenly change? No. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> The saw spear. It was just floating right there. Yep. So now we have two of them. Guess I can sell it for runes. <laughs> Teddy. Well, we don't know. Come on. First off, the hunter is way cooler than than my character in D&D, &D, so. And I don't think these weird sewer rats are cooler than your character, though. No, the D&D &D session yesterday was was fire. It was really fun. That was good stuff. That was good good clean satanic worshiping occult fun. That's what D&D &D is, right? Right? What year is it? It was. But turns out D&D &D is just bad improv acting and math. Do you... What do you think you're gonna do? I don't want to metagame. But like, I want to ask your, your opinion on that. Are you... I mean, you're not gonna drink the potion. And I think you need to talk to Destora because there are, uh, there are, there's more stuff that we could probably do to help you or not. I don't know. We can also, we also need to, uh, go to the temple. First things first, gotta go to the temple for sure and see if we can do something about your potential affliction. So yeah, if I can get a, uh, a direction to point me in that I can figure out where I'm supposed to be going now, that would be great. Because I think there must be another... Is there another stone that's open? There must be another stone that opened up that I didn't notice. Maybe there is another stone. If I start to change, apparently the potion might give you control over it. But if we can cure it without getting into a massive fight over it, that would be better. If you're cursed. If it was werewolf, I would have been tempted. Yeah, it's definitely not werewolf though, bud. It is way less cooler than werewolf. Unfortunately, super not cool like a werewolf. I'm gonna turn into a freaking were rat. That would... That would be, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it was a great session. I had, a, I had a blast last night. Even though it still does feel a little bit strange. Because whenever you're talking to characters in that game that have any type of romance potential or flirting or anything that falls into that space, you're just 
you're flirting with your DM. You're rolling charisma checks against your DM. So I don't know who it's more awkward for, the DM or you. So let's see. No place to awaken. No place to awaken. No place to awaken. And these are like the chalice dungeons or something. A short ritual root chalice is re yeah, these are the chalice dungeons over here. Give me a level up. Welcome. What is I desire to channel my blood me? echoes. I would like more HP. I think we'll be done. 21 is 800 plus. So maybe we're good on HP for a little bit. Farewell, good hunt, mate. Farewell, good hunter. Everyone in this world talks by pushing all the air out of their lungs whenever they speak, which means you only really say about eight words at a time before you <laughs> have to breathe again. Come on, give me a level up on the sauce beer. Level me? Give me a level. Saw spear plus one. It's like plus seven damage. Now, does still D and D scaling? Yeah, D and D scaling. But now it does virtually the exact same damage of the axe. Yeah, wear rat definitely not as cool. Horny bards do it all the time. Don't think I haven't thought about potentially shape-shifting to seduce a target. Well, that's fine. I mean, I, yeah, I can do disguise self. You can shape-shift. It's a little bit more ridiculous than that, but yeah. Okay, we made some progress, and I'm going to stop talking about D&D &D for this recording. Uh, that was episode four. Uh, after we got rolling, now we're, 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 we're schmoovin', maybe? I don't know. I don't know where to go. So I'm going to figure that out. And then I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching live, then you'll see all the nonsense. Like the really painful deaths on Friday. <laughs> so stop by and watch live. Otherwise, yeah, get out of here, you crazy animals.